What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So I know a lot of you've already heard about this recent comedy of errors when it comes to President Joe Biden. A recent speech that he gave at some event where the teleprompter was telling him to pause, I guess for dramatic effect, and the dude said pause out loud like it was part of the speech. Um, just another, another Colonel Benson from Hot Shots moment, you know, of senility. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about something that the media is trying to cover up. And it's something that was much, much worse than Joe Biden said, and they're trying to cover up. Matter of fact, I've never seen the media cover up for a president this much. Not even Bill Clinton was covered up this much, man. But then again, Bill Clinton had the common sense to not say certain things in public. Uh, even though it was 30 years ago, it was still uh, some level, uh, some great level of political correctness then. I have to say that I don't think a president has been covered up this much as far as things that they've said and done in public since John F. Kennedy. They love Kennedy, the left-wing press corps. They love Kennedy. Uh, I remember reading... Uh, and I'm and I'm a little bit I might be a little bit off with the exact phrasing of the joke, but it was it was a joke about black people and how we tolerant how we have this heat tolerance I guess. So he said a joke about how hot it was on the East Coast, and he said something to the effect. Now mind you, he said this directly to the press corps. He said, "Well, it was so hot on the East Coast." <clears throat> That's more Ed Kennedy, Ted Kennedy. Me, uh, well, it was so hot on the East Coast that the other the words were running to the beaches. You know, something to that effect, right? And he said directly to the press corps, they never reported that he said that. Never reported it. But, you know, he's supposed to be a friend of ours, you know, whatever. So what am I talking about here? Well, Joe Biden recently insulted the prime minister of an African nation when he implied that his uncle, who lost his life in World War II, I believe, was eaten by cannibals. All right, so Papua New Guinea's Prime Minister, James Marap, accused Joe Biden of disparaging the South Pacific Island nation by implying that an uncle of the U.S. president had been eaten by cannibals there during World War II. Biden's comments offended a key strategic ally as China moves to increase its influence in the region. The president spoke at a Pennsylvania War Memorial last week about his Army Air Corps aviator uncle, Second Lieutenant Ambrose J. Finnegan Jr., whom he said was shot down over Papua New Guinea, which was a theater of heavy fighting. So Archie Biden, Archie Biden said, <clears throat> you know, they never found a body there, little guy, because, uh, you know, they used to be... Uh, there was a lot of what you call there these uh, can cannibals there, for real in that part of New, in New Guinea. Archie Biden said, referring to the country's main island, Maripe or Marap said in a, stu a statement on Sunday that Biden appeared to imply his uncle was eaten by cannibals. President Biden's remarks may have been a slip of the tongue. However, my country does not deserve to be labeled as such, Marape said in a statement provided by his office to the Associated Press on Monday. World War II was not the doing of my people. However, they were needlessly dragged into a conflict that was not their doing. The rift comes as Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese began a visit on Monday to Papua New Guinea, Australia's nearest neighbor. Albanese and Marape will commemorate, commemorate strong defense ties between the two countries
by walking part of a pivotal battleground known as the Kokodo Track later this week. I'm very confident that PNG has no stronger partner than Australia, and our defense and security ties have never been stronger, Albanese told reporters before departing Australia. Uh, they talk about how Press Secretary Kareem Jean-Pierre covered up for Biden as usual. I mean, you got all of those uh, new Cameroonians and uh, what you call them, the Papa Guineas there. They all was jumping, jumping to that jungle bunny, jungle juice, jug jug music there. You know, because those people love to do what you call the boogie woogie, you see. It's in their blood. It's in their jungle blood. You know? That's why your hip hop, hippity hop music there. Got those those put those drum beats, you know, those people love drums, there. <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh my god, man. I can't believe People fell for this dude, man. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. People voted for the. I mean, look, man. Everybody gets fooled once. I try to warn people about this guy, man. This guy is a real life Archie Bunker, man. He don't like. He don't respect us, man. It pained. I don't, I cried literally. I cried when I saw black people trucking the streets for this dude, man. I'm like. I'm not saying Trump was better, but y'all really think this dude is for us? I mean, what he got to do? What does he have to do to show you how he feels about us? Oh, boy. G R O L A S A L R A N G R A D. Those were the days, days of when those people knew their place, and they voted straight Democrat. Yeah. But they didn't want nothing in return. Do as we say. Shepard vote Democratic and still on the plantation, dude. And he gets nothing. 